What is going on guys? This is the 6th episode of the Temporary Mission Bioreactor series. This time we are working with a Mexican Pinguicula, another carnivorous plant. Pinguicula does very well in traditional tissue culture, so I'm interested in how they continue in a temporary mesh by your reactor. However, Pinguicula is also susceptible to hyperhydration and may not do too well inside of a bioreactor, but we may get surprised. If you have seen any of the temporary mesh by your reactor videos on the channel, you may know that we are also testing different culture flasks. Baby food jars, 250ml plant cell technology, vented flasks, magenta boxes, and daily containers. Also, we are testing which gelling agent works better for each plant, agar or gelengong. For the tissue culture media, I'm using my own carnivorous plant multiplication media. One tier MS media with 25 grams of sucrose, one milliliter per liter of TDC, 0.1 milliliters per liter of NAA, one milliliter per liter of PPM, and the jelly agent for the tissue coat of flask and no gelling agent for the bioreactor. Pinguicula is one of the easiest plants to introduce to tissue culture, at least for me. Let me know if you want me to make a video about it, but the protocol is very easy. 5% PPM for 2 to 8 hours and that's it. I know 2 to 8 hours is a big window, but every pinguicula I have tested is different. Some get contaminated even with 8 hours soak and some die in 2 hours, so you have to do some experimentation. This method also works with other delicate carnivorous plants like sundews or fly traps. However, I haven't got as much success with those plants, but I will do more experiments in the future. For the other plants growing in the temporary mesh on bioreactors, they are doing very well and I will make a video update next week. As for now, the lab is an absolute mess and I need to do some cleanup, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and check the video out. We are finally getting some results and some plants are growing faster in different flasks and gelling agents than others. It is very interesting. Before I go, please keep making suggestions on what plants you want me to work with. I currently have close to 30 plants to do sterilization videos. Luckily, I got some new lab equipment that will allow me to do multiple plants simultaneously. So expect lots of sterilization videos coming soon. Until then, follow us on all social media and check plantcelltechnology.com to get your plant tissue culture supplies. And remember to use code FP10 for a 10% discount on your first order. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.